What's up my beautiful people? Welcome back to the channel. Hella good here, Run Shrieker, who's been running every day for the last six and a half years. And the short story is, I hated running. From hating running, to running across the United States, to running a couple hundred mile races, to doing a lot of running every single day. This is how I learned to run longer and love it at the same time. So if you're here, you may be running already, or you may be curious about how can I add more distance to my running and enjoy it and go longer and further. So that's why we're here today. So let's get straight into it, baby. Confidence and mentality is number one because you gotta believe in yourself to get out there and give it a try. I had to let myself know that, you know what, maybe I can love this thing. And I took that first step by just running 10 minutes a day. So you may get out there and run a mile, but knowing that you did a mile, think to yourself, you know what, maybe I can do a little more. A little progress is still progress at the end of the day. So imagine you run a half marathon now. And then you get to think to yourself, you know what, maybe I can double that and do a full marathon. So you gotta believe in yourself, you gotta have confidence in yourself, and you go out there and do little by little. With that, you build up your confidence and you build up self-belief, and that's gonna start adding up and adding up and put you at a higher level. And you're gonna get out there one day and just keep progressing and keep adding more mileage. And you get stronger as you're going through these steps. So you're not just jumping from one end to the other, small little progress, putting one foot in front of the other. Don't play money games. Self-doubt. That's what I was doing in the beginning. I told myself, do your best today. You got this, man. You got this. Come on, man. You got this. I'm, I'm shaking a little bit. It is what it is. Come on, baby. Let's do this. Come on. You got nothing to lose. The worst case scenario is the best case scenario. It's okay. It's okay to not be okay. Okay. We'll be fine. But at the end of the day, it all starts with the mindset, the right mindset, believing in yourself and having self-confidence. Keeping your mind stimulated. One of the things that I love doing is running with friends. When you're running with a group of people, you have so many conversations, you have laughters, and the time goes by so much quicker. Next thing you know, you're looking at your watch, whoa, we covered such and such distance already. Versus when I'm by myself personally, those miles seem to be longer, but when I'm with a group of friends and I'm having a good time, it is the best thing because it keeps me busy and it keeps me excited to keep going longer because you want to spend more time with those people. The more time you spend with them while you're running, the more distance you cover. If you don't have someone who runs, who wants to run, that happens sometimes to the best of us, you can find a local running club and you can join them. I'm pretty sure all the running club out there, the ones that I've actually been able to go to, they're all welcoming and with open arms. So find your local running group and join them. Or if you just want to run alone, you can listen to music. You can listen to audiobooks. I'm a big fan of those. So that's something that you can do to keep yourself going by yourself. Thank you Audible for sponsoring this video. You already have helped me many times to go the distance. You can listen to Audible anywhere and my favorite time to do it is when I'm running. It really makes me enjoy my running in a different way. It's different for everybody but when I'm listening to my favorite audiobooks, I just want to keep going and I enjoy the run and what's happening with the stories that I'm listening to. With the popularity that running is gaining because of social media, it's easy to find ourselves comparing ourselves to others when you see their paces and their distance they're going, they're going further and faster. And some of the things that I personally like to do for myself is listening to audiobooks such as The Power of Positive Thinking or You Are the Placebo. These are the audiobooks that helps me focus myself on myself and my mental health. For example, The Power of Positive Thinking it teaches you how to focus on yourself and take away self-doubt. How to not compare yourself to others. How to not envy others. Uh, you are the placebo. Teaches you how to focus on what you think you are, you will be that. So when you do that, especially for me, my mental health is so much clear. It's just hella, it's you versus you, not other people. New members get free trial. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below so y'all can go and check it out and let me know what you think. Thank you Audible for sponsoring today's video. Time versus distance. This is very important as we pick up the distance as we run. So if you think about this, right? If I go out and run five miles, let's say it takes me about 40 minutes for example. But if I'm doing that, if I wanna go longer and further, I'm gonna spend more time on my legs versus pace. So I'm gonna go slower. It doesn't matter how long it takes me. I'm just gonna spend more time on my leg because the more time I spend on my leg, the longer I could be out there, right? So if I go run a 100 mile race, I can spend more time on my leg, having my body used to that. There's a saying, uh, this is not my quote, putting it out there, slow is smooth, smooth is fast. You hear that again? Slow is smooth, smooth is fast. Because if you go slow, you're very smooth, your very energy is efficient, 
you're gonna go the distance. But if you go too fast, you're gonna burn yourself out. We're not all Jim Walmsley, y'all. We're not all Cody DeWalter. They can go fast, that's fast for them, but for them also going fast, they know they're going at a certain pace where it's almost slow for them to handle, even though it's not slow for us. But remember that, I feel time on leg is more important than distance. So focus on being out there, look at time, don't look at your distance. If it's taking you an hour to run five miles, and be like, oh, I only ran five miles. So you know what, I was on my leg for an hour. That's an hour of work on your leg. So that's very important. So time on leg, slow is smooth, and smooth is fast. Fueling. I was super ignorant about fueling, and I learned real quick. You know, Kevin Hart said, you're gonna learn today. Uh, my first time I went out there, I said, what's up my beautiful people? I'm going out there to run 50 miles. And guess what, yo, I don't think I consume more than 2,000 calories, if anything, just over 1,100, 1,200. And I lost 10 pounds within 12 hours. I was not fueling. I had the running aerobic base, I had the strength, but I could not go far without destroying myself. And it took four days to recover from that. So you gotta make sure you're taking care of your fueling. And then the following year I learned the hard way, so I decided to eat even when I didn't feel like it because I didn't wanna be calorie deficit. I wanted to make sure I was on top of my electrolyte, my carbs, getting all the nutrients in my body as I'm going. So I'm not a nutritionist, right? But make sure you are fueling yourself. You're putting the proper nutrient in your body. So when you're going longer, your body needs something to feed off of. And if you're someone who doesn't really know what's the proper nutrients to take, especially performing, it's not like what you probably typically eat at home. You wanna eat well, but uh, there's plenty of information out there. Uh, be skeptical, do your research online, try to find a local running store, go to somebody who can give you more details about these gels and things that you can take while you're out there, depending on your distance. There's gels for different things. There's carb drinks for different things. So go out there and do your research and find the proper thing that works best for you. These are some extras that I don't wanna leave out, it's very important, strength training. You gotta be strong. You don't have to go lift a whole house to be strong. You can do resistance workout, you can do body weight. Make sure you have some kind of strength in your body, not just your leg, leg is important. Do your whole body, your core, to make sure that you're going because you are pounding your legs, you're pounding your body. Every land, every stride is a striking force. So you wanna make sure you're keeping your body strong. And to the gear, proper footing, you gotta have the right shoes. You don't, you're gonna be uncomfortable at some point. You wanna make sure that the shoes is not the reason, especially in the very beginning. So make sure you have the right proper footing and the right clothes because they don't wanna be chafing. That is awful. So make sure you get the proper attire to get you going. Thank you so much y'all for listening to my way of how I run longer and further. Also remember, it's okay to not be okay. We all go through tough times. So if you're not feeling great, find somebody to speak to, talk to somebody and focus yourself on yourself. And there's this saying also, you cannot pour from an empty cup. I say this all the time, so fill up your cup, feel whole, feel whole, don't compare yourself to others. Do your best because little progress is still progress. I love y'all, stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you then. Let's get it. Let's go baby.